David Cameron, many congratulations here at the Lakeside for the World Seniors Masters, and you've just beaten one of the favourites for the tournament. How does that feel? Ah, uh, feels amazing. As I say, you know, I fell a little bit behind at, for, at first, and but you know what, you just got to try and dig in, right, and keep your focus, and, and it worked out well. So yeah. Three one down. What are you telling yourself? It's never over till it's over. Uh, I actually thought about Neil playing uh, one of the other guys there in the um, in the Worlds, and he was down three sets to none, and he came back and he won. So I mean, if you think about stuff like that, try to give yourself some positives right along the way. Do you think having played here at Lakeside only a few weeks ago maybe helped you? I think so. I mean, every time you get on the stage, you, you know, I feel you should gain experience. And I mean, I've been practicing well lately. My game has been very good, actually. Uh, I've been shooting very consistent, just hitting some doubles, some not hitting doubles a, a, a few times along the way. But overall, you know what? My, I feel like it's only going to get better from here. So. What was it like going back home and playing in between and everything like that as well? It's just, you know, I went down to Indianapolis and played in the CDC event and stuff like that. I, I, you know, qualified to go to the U.S. Masters, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, like I say, I played well through the other three events. I just missed some doubles along the way, so, I mean, it, it could have changed, right? But, but I'm happy with my performance so far for, for today, yeah. On that qualifying for the U.S. Masters, how does that feel going to Madison Square Garden in a week's time? It's, like I say, it's another opportunity. You know, you get to play uh, against some of your friends, like I say, that, that we play all the time, and uh, there's a great opportunity there to get to the World Championship and get to play some of the PDC players and I look forward to it for sure. Also, just being in and around, you almost didn't qualify for this because if you'd have won your game at Lakeside, you wouldn't have had the opportunity to fly across the Reading in that Uber. Was that a, just a spur of the moment thing or was it premeditated? Were you always going to do that? Well, I heard there was a qualifier going on, so I said, I'm going to stay the week anyways. I needed a vacation. So <laughs> I said, you know what? I heard that it was a week later. I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. So I registered and done my thing and I was very lucky, like I say, uh, to, to get through on the first day. So I was happy with that. And it sets up a tie again the reigning world seniors champion Robert Thornton excited for that prospect uh, I mean hey he's Robert's been around for years he's a great guy you know what I mean it's uh, and a great player but hey we'll see what happens on the stage so but I feel, I feel good thank you very much David how does it feel to be a part of this world seniors to yourself and John Park flying the flag for Canada uh, you know what it's a start I believe of something good and I'm definitely look forward to getting better and hopefully I can say I can jump in there and play some more and whatever and maybe if they have a ranking list at some point which I heard they may do uh, you know it's it's that that's what I like to be on and be able to just walk into these events but hey if I get an opportunity to play and, and qualify I'm gonna give it a shot so we'll see what happens how much confidence this night's win give you going into that game against Robert Thornton now oh fantastic I mean it's uh, you can never give up is the thing right and I didn't give up but you know I, I sometimes I get to a point where you just you put your head down and I just look at the floor and I just take a few deep breaths and just try to let the darts go because the darts are going well I, I, I you know I, I cannot say that they're not but but they're going really well so that's you know it worked out well for me what were your own expectations coming into this weekend do you feel like you really challenged for the title perhaps i think i can win it there's no doubt about it i mean it's you know i i feel good uh the last the last four or five months my game has been really good it's improving i don't dwell on averages too much overall but i mean my averages has been a lot higher than normal yeah so yeah so i'm really happy with it okay thanks david well, okay. David, you talked about playing on the CDC tour, and obviously yep. you've been throwing plenty of darts over the last few weeks. Do you yep. feel like that was an advantage over Kev up there? Uh, I wouldn't say much of an advantage, but I think it's it was it helped a little bit, I believe, because where we have a lot of great players over there, and they will push you as well. They, you know, I, I always say like there's a lot of great players around; they just don't get the opportunity. But overall, yeah, I mean, it probably helped a little bit, but but it's just my game right now. I feel really good and confident, so yeah, so we'll see. Touching on the U.S. Masters and the North American Darts Championship, the the lineup there looks. Very, very strong. We've got yeah. players now with tour cards mm -hmm. over in the UK. Do you feel like this is the strongest lineup of North American talent we've had? Uh, for quite some time, there's definitely like a lot of guys. There, there are players over there that can play as well. I, I won't say it's it's the toughest, uh, you know what I mean. But there are some good players around, and these guys are definitely tough. I mean, I played Matt before. I played Jeff a bunch of times. We beat each other up. So you know what? If it's our day, it's our day. So we're going to see what's going to happen. Okay, brilliant. Best of luck for the rest of the tournament. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.